If you if you have questions that need to be answered, um, you might get more out of coming to this uh, website. Um, there's the video about, obviously about the sound waves, uh, waves and frequency. It's you know it's only a couple minutes. It's not that difficult. And then uh, especially for the um, for the work there, you have to take some notes. There's um, interactive uh, animation on um, what sound waves are, and obviously it'll show you uh, it'll show you all kinds of. Uh, is that? That's the sheet I just gave you. So I got to go on. Yeah. So, so we'll go through this, and then um, answer the questions that are involved as you go through uh, the presentation, um, and you can see uh, high frequency and uh, low frequency. All right, um, longitudinal waves, uh, compressions, or everything we're going to talk about today. But you know, it gives you a, it gives you a, a firmer background. Since, you're, since we're going to go through this pretty quick. Listen. And then there's videos you can watch, classroom demonstrations, just like we're doing right now. And, um, you know, there's stuff like, uh, you were, we were talking before about a guitar, about the uh, harmonics on a guitar. So you can, you can see the vibrations and the strings. You see how that works? How it fluctuates? You have uh, the two nodes, and then you have the anti-node in the middle as the guitar string vibrates back and forth. Oh, okay. Remember? You were like, well, how am I supposed to know about a guitar string and how it operates in the rest of it? So you could, you could see stuff like this, all right, um, when, you're, when you're on there. All right, so uh, move this one back. And we're going we're gonna to look at some stuff today. Listen. Some of the demonstrations we're going to do. All right, sound intensity. All right, so here we go. Um, P is power, and uh, R is our distance from the sound source, all right? If a piano's power output is uh, 0.302 watts, uh, find the sound intensity at a distance of one meter. Just we just like plug in power. Um, Wait, how is that at one? Oh, because that, all right, I thought you had P for power, 0.302 watts, and uh, R is our distance from the center, or from the source of the sound. Remember the sound's going out in uh, all directions, so circular. And uh, our distance to the sound source is the radius because it goes in all directions at once. Um, and we find that our intensity is 0 0.024 uh, watts per meter squared. This is called an inverse square law, right? So if we double the distance, what's going to happen to the intensity? Let's go to half. All right, so uh, inverse would be uh, Two, so if you double this, it's one over two. Inverse square means one over two squared. What's that? One fourth. So one fourth. Kind of All right. So inverse square means that if you double the distance, then you um, have one fourth the intensity. And this is what we're talking about with the sonic boom: how far you are. Okay. Right. The farther you are. So if you're three times uh, the distance, that's one ninth the intensity. Right. Mm. All right. So intensity is related to volume um, or relative. Uh, intensity, uh, and this is measured in decibels, right? how loud we perceive a sound to be. Uh, zero decibels is um, barely audible, okay? And that's our, uh, that would be our, our ground zero. All right, a difference of 10 decibels changes the sound intensity by a factor of 10 or times 10. Um, and the volume by a factor of two. So what does that mean? So we have uh, 50 decibels to 40 decibels. So our intensity here uh, is half as loud and one-tenth as intense. Uh, the volume is a factor of two. So on the decibel scale, to go from uh, so it's actually logarithmic. So you have uh, 10 is um, an intensity of 10 um, watts per uh, meter squared, right? And uh, 20 decibels dB is uh, 100. So it's 10 times greater, right? Uh, 
watts per meter squared. And 30 is 1,000, so you add a zero, logarithmic scale. You add a zero oh. for an intensity. So 40 is, uh, one zero, zero is 10,000, and uh, 50 is 100,000. So to go from 50 to 40 is to take away a tenth of the intensity. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. 60 decibels uh, to 90. So uh, we got 10, 10, 10. So we got a thousand times uh, more intense, right? And then uh, we had two twice as much to 70, uh, two times two to 80 is four, four times two is eight times. Wait, what? You gotta do that one. Um, 60 to 70 is twice as much. Mm -hmm. 70, 80 is twice as much times two is four times. Oh, you're doing the volume. Yeah. So he's not. All right. Beats, uh, alternating loud and soft sounds resulting from interference between two slightly different uh, frequencies. All right. So basically what we have is we have uh, two frequencies happening at the same time. So I got uh, 256 and 1024. So if I You might get this wee wee wee. I hear it. All right. So that's a beat. So your beat frequency is this is this um, is I take uh, 1024 minus 256 and I get a beat frequency. Which uh, remember we had the the um, springs. And I had uh, constructive and destructive interference. Mm -hmm. right? When the waves were going in the same amplitude, it got lar larger. And when they were going in opposite directions, they're going smaller. Well, that's what's going on here is there's two waves. And when they're in balance with each other, they become larger. And when they're out of whack with each other, they're, it's destructive interference. And what you get is you get a what's called a beat frequency. Uh, is the difference between the two. So here we have a frequency of, uh, right, so these two are together and these two are separate. So these two are constructive, which means they're, they double, and these two are um, opposing each other, so it's destructive. So now your, your new frequency is, see that? It's the addition of where they all overlap each other for if they're how constructive or destructive they are. You see that? No. This is where they cancel each other out. And this is where they have um, the most uh, constructive or build upon each other the most. So now we have a new frequency because we have uh, a great displacement to a minimum displacement. We have a new wavelength. New wavelength gives us a new frequency. So the beat frequency between 17 hertz and 16 hertz is one hertz. Um, low frequency, long wavelength. See these little wavelengths? Now you got a long wavelength. This is the new wavelength. See that? And that's and what you get is you get you get this one, this one. And then you get your uh, your beat frequency when they overlap into each other, All right? So we got 16 hertz, we had 18 hertz. We have a uh, a frequency now. You see that? Here's our highest. Here's our lowest. So we see the same pictures there during a one second time interval. Uh, this is where they're right on top of each other, and this is where they're destructive interferences at the most. They cancel each other out. Here, here, here. <laughs> so now we have two hertz. Two cycles per second. All right, we have a natural frequency. All right, is the frequency at which an object uh, most easily vibrates. Um, and then we have a forced vibration. And a vibration due to an applied uh, force. 
And then we have resonance occurs uh, when a force is repeatedly applied to an object at the object's natural frequency. All right. <coughs> so um, here's here's a here's a object that has a natural frequency. All right. So uh, if I swing that. Uh, the one that has an equal wavelength, which is our length of our uh, string here, will have an equal frequency. So this one's going fast, that one's going slow. Uh, if I keep this up, you'll see that these two will, will have the same um, cycle per second. Right? Remember, we talked about this. If they have the same length on a string, then they have the same time period it takes to complete a cycle. So this one's, this one's, uh, this one's oscillating under um, 15 degrees, and this one's oscillating under 15 degrees. So just the fact that they're oscillating right now, this one's going fast and that one's going slow. They have the same frequency. They have the same time period because it's dependent on the length of the pendulum. Now these guys aren't moving that much, right? So, what will happen if I move this guy? It will have a shorter, um, shorter period. All right, so this guy's, this guy gets those two because the length of the um, pendulum, you see that? Yep. So now, they're not, they're not, um, this one's going faster than those, but they have the same time period because once again, these guys are oscillating under uh, 15 degrees, which means that um, that one's going slower than these guys, but it takes the same amount of time for him to go uh, from amplitude to amplitude. These guys are going faster, they got a larger amplitude, so they cover it faster, more, more distance on time. So they're at the same frequency, right? So that's resonance, right? We have a natural frequency, and that's um, and that's being described by our um, pendulum, by the length of the string, giving us a specific time period, which is the inverse of the frequency. Examples, um, swings, or pendulums. Um, if you have a natural frequency in a uh, glass, uh, the crystalline glass, if you uh, have compressions that are equal to those, they will you have um, constructive interference, and they vibrate larger. Their amplitude vibrates larger, and you can shatter, shatter the glass, the crystal. Uh, the Tacoma Narrows uh, Bridge, you ever seen that happen? Right? Yep. It had a uh, natural swing to it, like a pendulum, and then the wind was, uh, was creating highs and lows, and it caused it to resonate, and the amplitude got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it crumbled and collapsed. Sorry. Our uh, next guest is a renowned throat singer from the Russian Republic of Tuva. And throat singing is uh, a centuries old art form in which uh, the singer vocalizes, right, Paul, two to four notes uh, at a time. Wow. Right. Gotta the see normal that. singer can how many notes? Uh, One. One, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man, two to four notes at a time. Uh, this is the CD. It's called Back Tuva Future. <laughs> From Tuva, please welcome Ondar. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. 